Uh, but this guy with sad fish the better be sad more caught going inside there. Arjun, I wonder when you don't catch one this size of the snapper king. Ginger, ginger. The whole floor is ginger. Hi. The kitchen rocks from a different angle. Good morning, guys, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. Well, I was up since four o'clock this morning because I'm going on a beautiful adventure for you guys. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Well, I'm going to region one by ear. I already checked in, so the flight will be leaving in the next couple of minutes. So join me on this one and let's go on this beautiful journey to Northwest. Guys, we'll be on the tarmac, and this is our flight. Giant Antito. So it's 56 minutes to Mabuma. So let's go. Good morning. Alright guys, well, we have touched down here in Maburumo. So it's been a while since I've been here, but this is the first time for me coming here with plane. Normally, I would come around with boats. So this is where we touch down. So let me go and book my room, get something to eat. And let's go and check out the place and see what it looks like. Hey, thanks bro. Yeah. Safely. Yeah. Pilot did an awesome job. Smooth flight. So
guys where we already checked in we have we room set and everything and now we are heading out to the waterfront you say right uh where all the business is take place your market probably we can get food for buy out there right all right so we go and check out the waterfront grab something for eat and see what more i can get for you guys today <coughs> All right, guys. Well, this is where we're at. This is the waterfront. Just so we can go and check out the river. Ah, uh, and guys, find a nice food stand. And this is what they have here. Wow, well, nice salt fish and big chicken, curry fried chicken. Dylan, set up something nice for me and walk a small right, coke and a bile and fry. We got it. Right there, you go. Bile and fry inside here. Uh, but this guy with salt. Fish, there better be salt more. Cut going inside there. Alright, guys, so we can eat something quick. Then we're going to check out the water. Alright, guys, so. Yeah, hey, you want more guys now? Guys, bye. I'll miss you. Yeah, they for a couple of days. All right, guys. Well, full. We got enough energy for go and check out this place. Well, we at the waterfront now, so to the waterfront. So these two men never went here before, so they enjoying the view so far. Hi. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, Gil Baco. Alright, nice. Oh, this is yeah. size. Yeah. <laughs> they get right there, right? yeah, yeah, Out yeah, to the right. same river? Snapper. Then the always go after snapper. What is snapper size? Uh, June, I wonder when you don't catch one this size of the snapper king. I can get the crumb when you catch one this size. We got salt fish. Alright guys, so the place they said the places get more busy on weekends and that's Saturday. So we can see if we get time and come back Saturday and check it out. Well this river here is Aruka River. And I've been here before. I travel way up in the Aruka River and way up in the Arrow River. Well, I travel all the way from Charity to this place before. I travel through Baramo, Burima, Waini. I went up in Aruka and Arrow. So I've come here a couple of times. So let me go and check out the next location for you guys. Check out the main stelling where the big boat has come from Georgetown. And I'll tell you guys how you how you can get here in three different ways. Probably they have another way, but I don't know. So let's go and check out. Plenty. Look at the amount of ginger these guys packing off. All this here is ginger. And these is going to Georgetown on the big boat like I told you guys about. So I'm guys packing it up and preparing for the boat to come and receive it. 
all here the ginger ginger the whole floor is ginger so these guys packing up all these ginger and picking out the clean ones and bag it up for the big boat to come and collect it All right, guys. Well, this is the location where the big boat from Georgetown, a transport in Harbor Wharf, would come here. And these guys would take 20 something hours to get here. Well, their first stop is marijuana, then to here, probably spend a week and then head back to Georgetown. Well, that's one way in getting here. You could probably, you could fly by plane and come here, which would take 56 hours, like what we did, or you can travel all the way from charity to morocco and into this location and today is the day where i've done it in all three ways in getting here this is the first time I'm i come here with plane so i travel with boat before like that from charity to here and i came around with a big boat which take 20 something hours trust me <laughs> It's hard for me to make that ride again, but I want to chance it one more time just for the experience because I was young and that's the first trip I ever came on when I leave school. This is the first place I ever come to. Alright guys, so let me go and look here these guys and see if we can check out more in the village pass. They're probably looking for me. Wow, I got a big snapper in the boat there, boy. <clears throat> Alright, so let me go and look for these guys. Well, the driver decides he can take us in his village, Hosororo, but we're on Hosororo Hill and it's a really, really high elevation. Well, you can see people living all the way at the bottom there. That's a really high hill gone up there. Well, that's the top of the hill and I'm far on bringing and sight up a new board now. <clears throat> Don't worry, the young shy down to mango for we just now. I can find something for you. For you, do well. That's where we just came from the Marbrumo main landing. You can see the river all the way from here, too. So, this is on top of the post Aurora Hill. That's all nice mango up there that's a mango in the street also wow look at this view got a amount of forests over there Guyana really nice Look like the weather changing up a bit. Well, I hope it's not a snake attack you. So let me jump in the car and head more in the village and check it out. Alright guys, well I dealt with the board man. 
Massey hearing a set of board, but he ain't seeing none. Anyway, the board we hearing is violation euphonia. But when I look up in the tree, all I seen is a set of mango. And I can't come tell you a minute of mango. I gotta get a mango. Come. This is how I get in this mango. Shine it down. Aye? What shot to? What shot? What shot? What shot to fresh mango? Yeah, I know it is. Well, it's Kayano, we did have done no mango still. But this one, a marble rumor. Sweet. Real sweet. Mm -hmm. Right? We go and take the taxi. <laughs> Right people are we still continuing through the Osororo village. A little mango see the man one of a spider man for shot to mango. Well three there. It says Osororo Primary School. Probably this, these guys ball field where they play football and cricket and whatever sport. So you could see the mountains through the tree. This, ele this elevation is really high. Some guys enjoying the trip though. The forest trip to Mabarumo. Alright. Let me continue as we head in. Head more into the village. The driver said we got a little more where to go. So let me go see what we can pick up for you guys. Alright guys, well this is the location we at. The guy said he's taking us to a place they call jungle, right? It's jungle you say? Yes, yeah, jungle. So we're heading down this road. Uh, where are we going? We're going inside there first? Alright, where are we heading down? And we will be checking out the kissing rocks. So this is where we at. Welcome to Mabrumo Settlement. So we're heading down this road to the Kissing Rocks. Wow, place really beautiful. Nice place. All right, so let me head down to the rocks before the rain comes down because the weather's changed now. We're getting a shower every now and then. When we was at Host, Host Roro, it come down really hard, and we decided to come down this side and a lot of lightning and thunder so 
let me head down to the rock spots and take, check it out. Big mango tree, eh? Yeah? Can you imagine when mango in season, full season, how much mango to be on the ground there? Yeah? Alright guys, just like I said already, uh, rain. And the rain come down on us and that's the farthest the car could go. So we have to walk down a bit to the rocks. I've came here so many times and never went to view this rock but today I'm going to view it have a look at it <laughs> all over we just the height look look at the height we did all right down to the rocks all right guys we'll be approaching the rocks I had to collect and I'm gonna cause the rain come down more hard. So this is the kissing rocks. Over the past years I'm seeing this all over social media. Now I'm here myself viewing it. So let's go and pass under it. I've been in a rocky place like this before in the Iowa Cromwell Forest but it's way more bigger than this but this one is unique that's why they call it the kissing rocks let's go at the bottom and get a view from a different angle all right guys well it sounds like the rain is coming again let me head back up to the taxi and see what more you have for us other than that we have to link up with the guy that invited us here he's coming out for work probably around two three o'clock so hey this rock really really big and nice tell the rain again whoa this is the view from the rock all right so let me head up and join back the taxi and see what more this guy have for us <sighs> bye kissing rocks until the next time rain is here again Well guys, well, I think we can call it our afternoon. We had a shower for like probably two hours. We was to check out a different location. We didn't get a chance to, but the landing, we, we was down there just now. We grabbed lunch and everything. Place intent to get busy. So the guy said on the market day, which is Saturday, the places get really, really, really busy. So we can run down there Saturday and check it out but for now thanks for joining me on this one make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you guys tomorrow in the next video